All right, so second video going in. Uh, I'm gonna make this a series apparently. Um, so we're gonna do Bonita strips and doing it on a uh, Penrig style setup with a small squid skirt. This works for everything in you know South Florida. You can get tuna, sailfish, kingfish will eat them, wahoo if you can manage to not cut the, the mono off on them. But uh, the first thing you want to start out is with the Bonita slab. This is already shaved down so it's nice and thin. You got the skin on the other side. Um, you want to salt it really heavily so it's nice and like basically like leather. You want it like leather so it's gonna hold up in the water for extended periods of time. Um, the first thing you want to do is wash all the salt off. Um, what I'll usually do is salt it down, leave it in the freezer for a whole day so it'll get nice and dehydrated. Um, that just makes it firm up and works out a little bit better that way. So once you get it washed off, you're gonna lay your strip down or your uh, slab down. You're gonna cut the end off so you get a nice flat surface on it like that you're gonna cut the hard edges off that you cut off the bonita you want it to be nice and uh, streamlined the whole way down and when you're cutting you kind of want to bevel it out towards the edge so you don't have meat hanging off the sides of the strip I'm actually gonna make these a little bit shorter these would be great wahoo strips if I was doing uh, like a double hook rig on a um, sea witch or something like that so from here you're going to try and make your teardrop shapes come down like that it's better to have a nice stiff knife but i work with what i got in the situation um, so you're going to bevel your knife down at an angle cut into that strip bring it down to a point a teardrop now when you get a strip like that when you think of a fish looking up at a bait fish, that's what they're gonna be seeing. They're not gonna be seeing a tail or anything, they're gonna see a silhouette, and that's why these work so well. So, now that I have my strip, super simple. You just take the point of your hook, you punch a hole in the very tip of it, right there. So you make a nice hole like that. You're gonna take your pen, stick it through the hole, just like that. It's going to be curved over. This is just Monel wire that I'm using to hold it in place. It's not going to rust, which is a good thing. Um, I see a lot of people use like stainless or any kind of steel leader that does rust and it doesn't work out for them very well. Um, you're going to measure it out just to see where your hook's going to pop through. Mark that with your fingers and then come through that hole right there. And that should pop through like that. I always use double strength hooks just because you know I don't want it to bend out just in case. This is only you know 50 pound test but still helps out in my opinion. Slide that skirt down and then when it swims in the water it's gonna have a nice little back and forth action like that and that induces a strike most of the time. Like I said you can get sailfish, dolphin, kingfish, tuna, everything under the sea that eats small bait fish is gonna eat one of these but that's your pen rig for you.